Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! Since last time, I made my way back to Wolf and Fortress here and rearranged my setup as I have listed in the video description here. Got the ultimate legendary armor on Killian, along with the miracle amulet, because he's actually going to be the fastest party member in my, well, my active party there, and a couple, wait, what were they? Might Nexuses there too. Spinel isn't really useful in the final dungeon unfortunately, so I'm just leaving her in the reserves there. Henson, the rings don't particularly matter, although there are a number of enemies who use fire and ice elemental attacks there. I decided to just give him the Wub of Wizardry and be done with it. Also put him back on his intelligence ambulance there. Gelts, there is nothing really special there. Now with Lodok, I gave him the Invincible Amulet and the two Might Necklaces because there's going to be a boss fight where he's going to be mandatory and you're not going to have a chance to update his equipment right before the boss fight. So I want to set him up in advance so that way he's all set and ready to go. He doesn't need the Elemental Boots because he's got the Invincible Amulet there. And, yeah, his defense really sucks, so giving him the Invincible Amulet, I think, is the way to go. But, alright, so, we got the seal broken here. Er, the seal has been broken! So, let's take a look around. We don't really have final dungeon music, just kind of ambient background sounds, I guess. Kind of creepy, though. But, okay. And let's see what new enemies we got here. On the first floor, they are not that extraordinary. Let's see. Yeah, they're... Well, weak to darkness elemental stuff, but I don't really have any spells that can do that, I don't think. So let's just go with a good cross flash. That should be enough. Awesome. We're done here. I don't know if those guys can inflict any status ailments because I usually don't let them live long enough to do that. Alright, there's another new enemy there. I think that's the Skeleton Warrior. Yeah, also similarly weak, so... But I do have the Miracle Amulet on... Killian. Oh, you might notice he has that body armor there that changed his sprite there, so... Yeah, that's pretty nice. But yeah, with the Miracle Amulet, I suppose I could just go with Blade of Fury. And there we get the Admonisher, the ultimate weapon for Lodic there, or not Lodic, Gelts. So, yeah, that's quite a bit of an attack boost there. And it's Dark Elemental, so I actually don't want to put a Holy Gem on it right now, because a lot of the enemies early in the dungeon are weak to darkness elemental stuff. So, okay, we're done here. I'm not going to fight every single enemy around here, because there are a lot of them, and since I already did the bonus dungeons, it's not really a huge con concern as far as my levels go. Now that hallway back there, there's a door on the right that leads to another long hallway like this. But they both ultimately lead to the same place anyway, so yeah, don't worry about it. But alright, we got a new enemy in the back there, Poison Root. Those guys are actually weak to ice, not darkness. But, yeah, Cross Slash is good enough to take them out. If you don't get an ambush, though, you may want to use Blade of Fury to make sure that you can finish them off with just one of those. Whoa. Yeah, I'm done with these guys. There's no more new enemies for uh, up until we get to, like, the third floor, I think. So, okay, so we already got the Admonisher there. Also, in the first room of the castle, there's a whole bunch of... Or, there's a room on the left and the right, but there's nothing in there. So, just some enemies and that's it. Well, at least I didn't get ambushed, but we got another new enemy, Misty Lich. Let's see, these guys, they also, in addition to their fire elemental attack, they can also use ice magic on you, so you might want to watch out for that. But for this one, yeah, gotta go Blade of Fury. 
without the ambush. That's how a Chevalier handles business. Yeah, in one of my test runs, I gave Killian the invincible amulet to counteract the stat or the elemental resistance drops. But what is it? Or the elemental resistance drops from the might necklaces. But I didn't really or what is it? I found I don't really need them. Because I can just one-shot everything at this point. Let's see. In that chest there, let me see. What items did we get? Let's see. We got a few emergency potions. Not that I'll ever need them, but they're there. Let's see. The other one, what was it? Oh, just some habanero peppers. I don't particularly care about that either. Okay, what floor are we on? Okay, there's no more new enemies until the fourth floor, I think. So I'm going to try to avoid them if I can. Or not. Okay, I didn't realize that guy was on this floor. Let's see, we got... What is he? Phantasm! That guy can use instant death on your party, just like most or all of their cousins. So... And the other problem is that they are highly resistant to most forms of damage. So they're kind of semi-invincible there. Even though it says they're weak to darkness, they're not! But let's give it a try with Gelts anyway. Yeah, I don't know why it says they're weak to darkness, but they are going to be weak to Mjolnir's might. Yeah, love that voice acting out of hence in there. Haha! We're done here. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to upgrade Mjolnir's might with a platinum medallion. Normally, I'd give it to something like Wave Strike or Illusion Assault or whatever, but. Yeah, I'm not going to be using Spinel, so we might as well give it to something else that's useful. There's actually a couple enemies that are pretty much invulnerable to everything, except lightning, for some reason. And if I ran into multiples of them, I would just go with Wrath of God and be done with it. But there is one more enemy that we got around here. Let's see if I can find them. They're on the... I thought they were on the fifth floor. I could be wrong. Man, I just can't sneak past these guys. Well, at least I'm on the fifth floor now, I think. So, eh, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Let's see. Yeah, I can't sneak past the enemies here, so I'm going to take a little detour to get to the other side. These guys I can sneak past. Ah, there's the last new enemy in the first half of the dungeon there, Shade Knight. And just like these guys, they are pretty damn resistant to just about everything. So, yeah, I'm not even going to dick around with them. Just go for good wrath of God, be done with it. Haha! -ha. You should have retreated. Okay, so, got all those guys. How are the rest of us doing? Yeah, let's use another tent here while we're at it. Now, let's see. At this point... Yeah, this is the... Well, somewhat the no-turning-back point. So, if you've got anything you want to change coming up here, you might want to do it now before it's too late. But all right, got all that out of the way. Uh, let's see. Basically, just make sure you've got nothing important on Spinel. And make sure that you've got Lodic equipped, ready to go. But all right, let's see what we got going on up here. Oh, where? I don't see anyone. Hmm. Yeah. She just did, I guess. Akra. Hmm? Who's Akra? Do you know her, Lodic? I heard that Akra is a character in Estenicia's story. 
Lodic, I see you finally found me. Why do you still dwell upon the past? I don't know her relevance to the story, but she's there. You've changed so much that I don't even recognize you. You even had to change the name of the franchise outside of Korea. Looks like those wings are coming out of your butt. Reminds me of someone else. Wait for us, Lodic. We need to work as a team, Lodic. Don't go off on your own. Well, it's kind of late for that. It's dangerous Lodic, to go come along. Back here. What the? Spinel. Nice. How many magical barriers do we got in this place anyhow? Oh. Nice. Oh. Well, it's not like I left any equipment on her anyway. Or at least anything I would care about. Nuts. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to know if I can't even see them? At least we still got a full party, and a decent one at that. And pretty much all the enemies here are really... What is it? Well, they're really slow. Hmm. Yeah, let's save after this one. Yeah, I don't need that save file from Chapter 2 anymore anyway. And let's see what we got going on here. What the... Who's that guy? You insolent fools! Oh, okay. Sticking him with the sword might help too there, Killian. A snack on this! Time against Scats. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I probably should have put a holy gem into the admonisher by now, but yeah, I don't think it's really a huge deal. Hmm. Yeah, why don't you go first there? I will want to heal Killian and get everyone buffed up. So, let's see, for healing. Yeah, I can afford I'll to use this. one of those. That's fine. Is it wrong that I hesitated there for a second before using the potion? But yeah, I do need to get everyone buffed up, and hopefully you've got Rally on Henson there. And that'll really help us out a lot. We should be able to finish him in this round, as long as he doesn't kill anyone. Not again. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'll just go with this and hope I get the Joker this card. Power. And, well, Gelt's just is gonna miss out on the experience if I do get it now. Hmm. Nah, I can't leave him for dead, can I? Damn I'll guilty conscience. Well, let's see. I don't think Henson can do a whole lot, so why don't you just defend? You don't have that much HP anyway. Yeah, Skets gets crits pretty frequently. Time to finish this. Hopefully, this will be enough. Wow! Look at that damage. You should have retreated. 
Aw, no Joker card. Okay, I'm gonna need a moment to take care of that, and I'll be right back. You should have retreated. Hey, hey, all right. Finally got the Joker card. Took me three tries, but we're in good shape there. Well, that's it? You're not going to dissolve or fade away or anything like that? No, I guess not. Ah. Well, actually, we got the Platinum Medallion that I also want to put to use. But if you examine Sketch's corpse, we get a treasure. And that's actually a pretty good uh, amulet that you can equip there. Let me see what we got. Hm, got to get over there. Okay, yeah, that makes you immune to darkness elemental stuff, but pitifully weak against holy elemental stuff. So... Yeah, it's a trade-off, but you get a lot of other elemental resistances, too. So, that's pretty nice. Okay, so we got the Platinum Medallion there. So, let's see. I want to give that to Gex with Doomhammer. That ought to be good enough. And I also want to put the Joker card to use. I'll give that to Killian, if I can. Well, I can. It's just if it'll act. It's just a question of if it'll actually work for a change. Let's see. Yeah, that's the right one. So just to check it real quickly. Now we got Vitality out of it. You can tell because even though that's not a weapon that he can equip that I had highlighted on the list there. It still treated it as though he removed his sword. So you can see the difference. Just by going into the equip menu. Man, I'm still getting vitality. Okay, if I don't get it on the third try, then I'll just do this off screen here. Game? Come on, I'm tired of save scumming to get the bonus I want. Man, three vitalities. Okay, I'll take care of this off screen and be right back. Okay, we're back. I got the the will boost that I wanted on there. So, yeah, boost of 60 between the the sword and the, what are they, the mercury boots or shoes. Yeah, that'll take care of us pretty good. Okay, so let's keep on going. We got some more enemies that we can find up here. But, I, but we're all at fall, so we should be good. Oh, I think the guy saw me. Yep. Okay, well, one thing I wanted to do, as long as I'm thinking about it, let's get that Holy Gem on the Admonisher. Not many enemies, well, none of the enemies around here are going to be weak to it anymore. So that'll help us out a bit. You can't chase me from over there, dumbass. And I don't want to get ambushed. Okay, here we got a new enemy, Etten. I don't think there's anything really special about them. They just have a lot of HP. Time to finish this. I actually care more about making the Admonisher not Darkness Elemental. Anything but that. But I had Holy Gems lying around, so why not? Yeah, for a final dungeon, this place doesn't really have a whole lot of... It's just not very big, really. They do have a lot of new enemies, though. Oh, wow, those guys are fast. Well, now they're getting a little faster. Okay, so let's see. These guys... Well, I could use Henson's ultimate wind elemental spell. How's this? Let's see if I can just soften them up. Or we could just kill them right off the bat. Why not? Okay, well, that didn't go as planned. I could have used Cyclone against them, but, well, it just wasn't meant to be. Let's 
but I am meant to kill more new enemies. Okay, let's see. These guys, even though it says they're weak to wind, don't believe it. They're not. So, I think they're pretty much invincible to just about everything we can do. So, yeah, it seems kind of weird how they handle the enemies like that. To make them tough, they just make them virtually invulnerable. I guess maybe they're trying to force you to use you Wrath of God or Instant Death or something. I don't know what's going on with that. But alright, some Miracle Potions and stuff. Awesome. But I do want to use a Tent because we're almost out of MP for using Wrath of God. And I forget if I need to use it against the last new enemy here. But we'll find out today! Okay, let's see. Who are we dealing with there? That is a Lilith. And they can inflict probably just about every status ailment in the book. I know they can inflict poison, confusion, silence. I haven't seen them do much else, but well, there it is. Okay, let's see. What are they weak to? Fire. Okay. Let's go. Well, let's just soften them up a little bit first. Okay, well, I know I don't need Wrath of God to kill them. Die. I'm surprised the Ettons That's are going down relatively easily. I thought they had, like, a lot more HP, but I, I guess not. But alright, well, that's all the new standard enemies in the game. Just wait for that guy to move. Whoa! Yeah, just thread the needle. Hey, all right, we're outside now. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do with the setup here? Let's see. For Killian, let's give you the Amulet of Protection to help with some defense there. We don't need the Miracle Amulet there. Everything else is pretty standard. Let's see. Henson... And I could give you whatever. Yeah, I guess just keep the intelligence amulet. Miracle amulet won't do us much good anyway. And let's see. Let's get rid of the molten ring. But I still want to hold on to the frozen ring. How does that work with your elemental resistances there? Yeah, you've got enough ice protection. So I think that'll be good. And... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that I could give hence and that would be useful in that other accessory slot. Yeah, I don't have anything. Maybe an Aegis Ring, I guess, but yeah, I'll just leave him as is. Okay, let's see. For Gelt's here, let's see. You got all your regular equipment good. Let's see. How are you doing after removing that Molten Ring? Let's see. Yeah, let's give you another Frozen Ring. If I can ever get back to the accessories. There we are. Okay, and finally, Asalora. Let's see. Skiavana is good. Oh, I want to give you the Dusk Pearl to help out with elemental resistances there, since I got both of the... What are those? The Might Necklaces on her. And... Let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh. Hmm. I guess we took a little bit of damage there or something. Yeah, okay. We're all at full and we're all set and ready to go. But whatever happened to Spinel? And where did Lada go? Can we stop Dryden's plans and save the world? Find out next time on the finale of Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!